Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at all of the World Grand Prix racers from Cars 2. Finally, after 12 years, I finally got all 11 out of 11 World Grand Prix racers all together. <clears throat> Now, before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> in 2011, to power up all in all, an alternative fuel made by Sir Miles Axelrod, the, all, every single race car from across the world, including Lightning McQueen, will determine I mean, who the fastest car is. And there were three races with only one unofficial race in the competition. In Tokyo, Japan, Porto Corsa, Italy, London, England, which that had been suspended, and in Radiator Springs. And after that, all in all, which, although the fourth and unofficial race was held after all in all was dead, and some of these racers even formed the TROC, the Transcontinental Race of Champions. So now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. First, we're going to start off with... Lewis Hamilton, who is a McLaren MP4-12C, who is named after Lewis Hamilton, bears the number two, and originates from Granada. Now, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his... Smirking facial expression, his his teeth, which he's missing the middle one, his black paintwork and his headlights and his and on the both sides we've got the yellow borderline circling on his gray rims on the black wall tires and the number two and the WGP on both sides of his doors and his yellow pinstriping and the side view mirrors. And, and on the spoiler, we've got the World Grand Prix logo. And on the back, we've got the red taillights and the red in the middle and the exhaust pipes and the Grenadian emblem powered by all in all, and a World Grand Prix logo and a red light in the middle and a, the number two. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in China. And that is it for Lewis Hamilton. Up next is Nigel Gearsley, who is in Aston Martin DBR9, right? bears the number 9, originates from Warwickshire, England, and is named after the late Sir Nigel Gresley, the designer of the famous Flying Scotsman, his sole surviving brother Gordon, and their cousins, Spencer, Mallard, and an engine, and related to Spencer and Mallard, named after Nigel Gres Sir Nigel Gresley himself. And now, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his happy facial expression, his headlights and his black grill, the all-in-all -all logo on both sides, and on his British racing green paintwork, the British Union Jack emblem on the hood, the Aston Martin logo, no tambos on the top, just the side view mirrors. And on both sides, we've got the number nine on the WGP logo on his door, the all in all logo, the exhaust pipe on both sides, the World Grand Prix logo, and the chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires, 
And on the spoiler, we've got the World Grand Prix logo. And on the back, we've got the red taillights and the Powered by All in All and a World Grand Prix logo, Yoon Jack Emblem and a number nine in the exhaust pipes. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in China. And that is it. Up next is Max Schnell, who is a 2007 Mercedes-Benz C-Class DTM W204, who originates from Germany, bears the number four. So now let's get right into his review. Here we've got his side view mirrors and his concerned facial expression, his black grill and headlights and a blackish purple paintwork and a WTCL logo, which are the initials of World... What are they stand for? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. So we've got his yellow, red, and black stripes on the top and hood, his side view mirrors and the number four and the yellow, red, and black on both sides and his four doors and the World Grand Prix logo, the all in all logo, and the exhaust pipe on both sides, and chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires, and the, the World Grand Prix logo on the spoiler. On the back, we got the red taillights, and the Powered by All in All, and a number four, and a German emblem, and a World Grand Prix logo. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in China. And that is it. Up next is Jeff Corvette, a Chevrolet Corvette C6R, who bears the number 24 for obviously Layman's and is named after and voiced by NASCAR driver Jeff Gordon. and used to race in Le Mans and is now officially retired as an RSN broadcaster. So now let's get right into his review. So here we've got his angry determined facial expression, the Chevy Corvette logo and the headlights, no tambos on the hood, just the side view mirrors, none on the top. And on both sides, we've got the chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires and the exhaust pipe and the American flag emblem, the number 24 WGP, all in all, the World Grand Prix logo. And on the spoiler, we've got the World Grand Prix logo. And on both sides, we've got the Corvette logo, the World Grand Prix logo, powered by all in all, the American flag emblem, the number 24, and the red taillights. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar made in Vietnam and the Corvette, which is copyrighted. And that is it. Up next is Raul Sorrell, who originates from France and is a 2006 Citron C4 WRC who originates from France and had won nine consecutive rally championships and earned the title Global Rally Car. And now let's get right into his review. So here I've got his smirking facial expression and his blue paintwork, the headlights and the GRC on the hood side view mirrors GRC in blue with on the white background and the number 06 WGP all in all World Grand Prix and the bit of red on the back and on the red spoiler we've got the World Grand Prix logo powered by on the back we've got the red tail lights and the number 06 powered by all in all the French emblem the World Grand Prix logo and the exhaust pipes and underneath it says Disney slash Pixar China. And that is it.
Up next is Shu Todoroki, who is a Dome S102, who originates from Japan, who bears the number, and also bears the number seven. And so now let's get right into his review. So here I've got his white paintwork, his angry expression, and the headlights and the, the bit of Japanese lettering with the red, cir red circle on the hood. No tambos on the top. And on both sides we've got the gray silver chrome rims on the Blackwell tires and the WGP number seven, all in all. And a bit of Komodo Dragon tampos on all sides. And on the spoiler we've got the World Grand Prix logo. And on the back we've got the tail lights and the exhaust pipes. And underneath it says Disney slash Pixar made in China. And that is it. Up next is Francesco Bernoulli, who is a Ferrari 150 Italia Formula One racer who originates from Italy and bears the number one. He grew up watching races in his hometown of Italy before joining the World Grand Prix and is also voiced by John Turturro. And during the film, he was originally an antagonist, but reformed himself as a good guy in the end. I mean, then again, redemption is good, right? So now without, tell me, tell me what you think in the comments down below. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's get right into the review. So here we've got his happy facial expression, his red, white, and green paintwork, and the the Italian emblem and number one, his open wheels. And on both sides we've got the green and white interior, the FR logo, which stands for Formula Racing, number one, the all in all, and the red rims on the black wall tires, which each of them have pasta, pa, pasta potenza, and Rotili tires. And on the spoiler, we uh, there's the World Grand Prix logo. And on the back, we've got the number one the World Grand Prix logo, and the Italian emblem, and the exhaust pipes. And underneath, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in Vietnam. And that is it. Up next is Carla Veloso, who is a 2009 Pugot 908 HDI FAP, who hails from Brazil and bears the number 8. Now let's get right into her review. So here we've got her happy expression, her headlights, and the green and blue paintwork, a bunch of Brazilian tampos on the top, and on both sides we've got the blue rims on the Blackwell tires and the number eight and the all in all World Grand Prix. And on the spoiler we've got another World Grand Prix logo. And on both and on the back we've got the red taillights and the exhaust pipes and the underneath it says Disney slash Pixar made in China. Disney slash Pixar China. And that is it. Up next is Miguel Camino, who is a 2007 Grand Touring Sports SSE from Spain and bears the number five. So now let's get right into his review. So here we've got his happy expression, his orangish yellow paintwork in the side view mirrors and a bunch of Spanish tampos on the hood and the headlights and a bunch of Spanish tempos on the top. And on both sides we've got the gray rims on the Blackwell tires and the all-in-all -all logo, World Grand Prix logo, number five. And on the back, and on the spoiler, we've got the World Grand Prix logo. And on the back, we've got the red taillights, powered by all-in-all, -all, World Grand Prix, number five, the Spanish emblem. 
Disney slash Pixar made in China underneath. And that is it. Up next is Rip Clutch Gonski, a 2007 Caparo T1 from the Republic of New Rirandia, who bears the number 10. And now, so now let's get right into his review. So here we've got his happy expression, his headlights and orange, red, and green paintwork, and his open wheels, which are partial or are covered up top each and on both sides we've got the number 10 WGP all in all the World Grand Prix and on the spoiler we've got the World Grand Prix logo and on the undercarriage we have Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand and that is it and last but definitely not least, everybody's favorite racing champion throughout around 16 years since the film since the film franchise came out in 2006, Lightning McQueen. So he is a 2005 custom-built Piston Cup V8 stock car racer who hails from. Radiator Springs in Carburetor County, Arizona, in the United States. In 2011, he had won four Piston Cups in honor of his late mentor, Doc Hudson. And he received a new paint job for the World Grand Prix from Ramon. And during the first race of the World Grand Prix in Tokyo, Japan, he lost it to Francesco, which was caused by Mater, which, by the way, his voice over the he headset was hacked by Holly Shiftwell, who was trying to warn Mater, which made Lightning very upset and kicked Mater out of the team, which was kind of stupid enough. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. So anyhow, Lightning felt very bad when he read Mater's farewell notes, and in Porto Corsa, Italy, before the second race, he received advice from Uncle Topolino that no fight is more important than friendship. He then understood and regained his winning streak when he beated Francesco. Then, during the third and final race of the World Grand Prix in London, he found Mater, who had a bomb on his engine, and while the race had been interrupted, and the lemons had been, most of the lemons had been defeated and arrested, they went over to Buckingham Palace to see the Queen to find out who the culprit is, and it actually turned out to be none other than Sir Miles Axelrod, who was then arrested after revealing himself when he deactivated the bomb on Mater's engine. And after that, Mater was then knighted by the Queen. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we got his... Smirking facial expression, his bright red paintwork, and the headlights, and the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo on the hood. And on both sides, we've got the gray rims on the black wall tires, and the which one of them says Light Year, number 95. And two of them, one on the WGP emblem, and the ye yellow lightning bolt mixed with flames, and the gas cap, and all in all, World Grand Prix, the exhaust pipes. Number 95 on top, and his name signature in yellow, World Grand Prix logo. And on both sides, we've got the red taillights and the World Grand Prix logo, 95, powered by All in All, and the American flag emblem. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which World Grand Prix racer is your favorite? And which car do you wish for me to review for tomorrow? 
Should it be patty or taco or both? Chug. Phil Tankson, who I got in the mail last night. And or the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. Let me know what you guys think, as well as leaving suggestions on which card to review next in the comments down below or on the voting poll in the community tab. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!